Hi everybody, Claude Diamond here with another gut sales tip. I don't think a day goes by where somebody doesn't ask me what are my favorite strategies in creative real estate. I have four basic strategies that I like. As you know, I've written several books on lease purchasing. The thing about lease purchasing is it gives you leverage. It allows you to control someone else's property uh, with very little money. You don't have to go to the bank or the lawyers or anything. It's simple, it's easy. You put down the same money like you would as you if you were a renter but you have a lease with an additional uh, option to purchase agreement. That means that the owner cannot sell it to anybody else and you have a property you can live in, you can sublet or sandwich lease to somebody else, you can arbitrage or wholesale assign to somebody else, or you can just straight out rent it. Or you could sell your contract, you can do all these different things with it. It's very flexible, it's very versatile. I've written several books, I have great packages on my webpage on lease purchasing. Uh, it's one of my favorites. Another one, another strategy is basically um, cash. Cash is king. When you find a property with a, the quote unquote motivated seller, every guru at every seminar, they teach this in guru school, says to find the motivated seller. But once in a while you do. You find somebody in a situation, real estate's in a liquid commodity, someone has a property for 100000 they're willing to sell it for 75000 You do a contract on that, a normal sales agreement on that property for the seventy-five, and maybe you sell it to an investor for um, for eighty-five or 90000 They have equity, and it's negotiable, of course. Maybe you only want to make 5000 and turn it over real quick. They have to buy the property. They buy the contract from you. That's called an arbitrage assignment, and, and it's real easy to do, and it's basically cash is king, I call it. You have the cash, or you need the cash, and so you sell the contract to somebody else. When you have the cash, you can negotiate great deals, and that's where you should be your ultimate goal. Another strategy is owner finance. Owner finance is basically where the owner has a great deal of equity in the property or owns it, as we say, free and clear, and they're willing to hold the mortgage for you. You negotiate with them, and now you have a property with a mortgage that hopefully you negotiated, you can assign to a third party. Something that makes it very valuable is when you go to people and say owner finance. So if you negotiate with somebody for, let's say, uh, a property for 100000 and it's um, amortized at a 20-year mortgage and you negotiate five years with a balloon, that means that somebody has to pay the balance of what is owed in five years, um, you, you can negotiate a deal and sell that contract to anybody, another investor or somebody wants to move into a house today uh, but maybe has some challenges on their credit. So owner finance is another wonderful strategy. Um, another one is subject to, but it gets a little legally dicey because most banks, um, when they give you a mortgage, they say do on sale or an acceleration clause. What some people do is they do a sales agreement, they do not record it, and the other person takes over the mortgage payment. Check with your attorney or someone knowledgeable in this area. Um, there can be, there, you know, it's not a criminal issue, it's a civil liability issue, but you could basically take over someone else's mortgage until you get caught, and then they could call in that loan, and somebody's going to have to pay it all up. But the reliability is not so much on you as it is the person who took uh, the mortgage. God, I'm talking fast here. It's a lot of information, um, basically, and I got my phone ringing here, and I'm going to take it, but these are my four favorite strategies. Remember, Nobody deserves success more than you. Knowledge is power. Get all the knowledge you can and use the gut sales method. Have a great day. Bye-bye.